What's up dudes and dudettes, and welcome to the 8th day of Christmas, and to a childhood classic, Zelda. Now, you guys have probably played this before, if not, you should. It's an old school game, I was maybe 3 or 4 when I first played it. My brother had an NES, or a Super Nintendo Entertainment System, so an SNES, and I love this game. I played it throughout my childhood, so I figured why not? I'd play it again today. I was going to play Modern Warfare 2, but I was kind of feeling nostalgic, so I wanted to jump back into more of a Zelda theme, or a Nintendo theme, kind of what I grew up with. I don't know if I'm actually going to be able to post this, so help me, help, please help me. It's basically a prisoner in the dungeon. The Princess Zelda! And the wizard has done something to the other girls that he's a pedophile. Oh no. He's trying to open this up. Okay. Keep going, keep going. I'm button mashing, but it's real slow. But like I was saying, I don't know if I'm even gonna be able to post this simply because Nintendo has a lot of copyright issues with these games and I'm not a partner. So I should be just fine. Um but I'm not completely sure on that, to be honest. <laughs> so I'm going to post it without, and I'm going to make sure advertisements are entirely blocked. And hopefully this will go up and stay up. If not, oh well, I'm just testing the waters with it. If it's not taken down within like a week, I may post another episode, who knows. I really like this game, and I figured, why not, let's see if we can get the Master Sword in like an hour or two. I've done it before. I've played through this game, who knows, maybe 20 times or so in my lifetime. What's up, Uncle? You didn't get very far. Did you pass out after falling down the hole? Thank you for your sword and shield. Need to get used to these controls, too, because I'm using an Xbox controller, and it is so weird to try to use a D-pad on an Xbox controller while you are playing... Funny enough, it's, I look down, it's an Xbox controller format, but it's a PS3 controller. So it has triangle, circle, square. It's, <laughs> it's one of the dumbest things they could have done. So yeah, we like the Xbox format, but we like PS4 controller better. All good. Why are you rushing me? Oh, he's not. It's like, why are you charging me, bro? That's not cool. If I remember correctly, it's down here and up to the top. It's funny how these old games, even though you don't... If somebody asked you specifically, hey, in the first dungeon of Zelda, where do you go? Like, which direction? You wouldn't be able to tell them. But whenever you get back in these games, you can look at them and be like, oh yeah, you just go up and then to the right, and then go down a few stairs, and then toss some people off the edge. Cool, we got full health again. The only thing you really have to worry about in the Zelda game is losing your health over time, not paying attention to it, which I have a habit of doing. Or being on the wrong side of these guys. Oh, 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 oh. That was painful. <laughs> keep going through. Being on the wrong side of them is probably the worst thing. But you can be a ninja and knock them off the edge. If you're good about it. <laughs> oh. oh man. Oh, well, I have a good vantage point on you. You just have to be... They're left-handed soldiers, apparently. You just have to be on their right side and you're just perfectly fine. Cool, a heart, that's what I was looking for. If only I had the running boots. I keep mashing A. Subconsciously, I'm just like, you're supposed to hold A, you can go faster through these rooms. Come on, green dudes, I can whoop your ass. So keep going. I'm pretty sure we're close to the dungeon. I, I don't necessarily remember these maps, but I remember that it's not 
that big, it's just you got to know where you're going and make sure you don't get stuck in the wrong places. That was almost bad right there. Sweet the boomerang. I may actually need that for this dude in the dungeon. If I remember correctly, he swings like a giant ball and chain above his head. We're going down. Is this it? Is this the dungeon? We're almost here? I assume so. We're going- uh, yep. Come here, dude. Hey. Oh, they're right-handed. Whoops. Are the blue-handed? Or are the blue ones left-handed? That's weird. Can I use these to kill him? Hell yes, I can! Sweet. Oh, oh, I don't want to be stuck in here. That was easy. Got the big key! What's up, Zelda? A uh, wizard is an inhuman fiend with strong magical powers. Yes, I understand. Alright, let's get out of here before he knows. I will definitely do that after stealing your 10 rubies. I have full health, I don't really need the pot. I assume that's what's underneath the pot. Somebody say pot? <laughs> Almost out, and we're getting done. We're actually busting through this real quick, because I have this stretched out on... It's in a windowed mode for a Ninten Nintendo emulator on my uh, PC. So it's working relatively well for that, to be honest. That's why I thought they were left-handed. He was running at me. Come on, dude. I can whoop you. Uh, you're starting to get a little close to me, though. Hey, hey. Okay. <laughs> Don't drop the barrel. Oh. Oh well. At least it started on the right side there. I was hoping I could sneak up with a little pot and run up and smack him in the face. Haha. <laughs> Now, I don't really remember where we go. I think it was upstairs or in the throne room. Cool. <laughs> the first one I hit was the one I was supposed to. I wasn't paying attention. I was like, where's the guy with the bigger sword? Well, the ones with the stubby swords, I guess, haven't advanced enough yet. The stubby sword being a dagger, I assume. Run, princess! Is it? Yes, it is. Okay, ornamental shelf, should it... Push from the left. Will do! Hey, and she's even helping. Cool. She's not an uppity bitch. <laughs> I shouldn't say that, but... I think I have to kill these guys. Nope. I hate being in the dark. I'm literally left in the dark. Oh ho ho. What's up, snakes? Can't get me, can ya? Oh, it's down here again. I guess I should equip my lantern. If nothing else for you guys, so you can see something. Got it. How do I use my lantern? Oh, that's a map. Why? Sweet. And we got a chest. You can see! I can bring the power of light. And it doesn't work for multiple rooms. Sorry about that. <laughs> Oh cool, I don't need another key. I don't know these maps, I'm just fumbling my way through this. Oh! Thank you for the heart, though. And let's see... Literally, let's see. Aw oh, man. Holy crap! 
At least it was worth it. Still no light. Oh, that one transferred light over. Uh, need some more. Damn. <laughs> I was hoping I was going to be lucky on the first two kills. Got the key. It's getting dark. Getting sexy time with Zelda. It's really not much to do. This is like a slash and grab game to its ultimate from the beginning. Which one of these do I have to move? Okay, that one. Thought I attempted that first. But yeah, this is the original form of slash and grab, where it's there's no puzzles at the beginning. It's really just plow your way through it. It's I guess trying to introduce you to. Ooh, that that was worth it. I didn't really intend on getting money yet, but hell yeah, I'll collect as much as I need. Get some potions or something later. Sanctuary is just beyond the door. Pull the switch over there. Okay, thanks. I'm going to assume right is the right way. Yes, it is. <laughs> it's my first assumption every time. You are safe. Is this your doing, Link? No, I was just, you know, walking behind her. She saved me, actually. Uh, seal the wise man. You must not let the land of Hyrule fall into the wizard's clutches. Before that happens... Uh, the wizard will destroy all of Hyrule. I sense the mighty evil force guides his intentions. Uh, you need to get the Master Sword. Mark the house on your map. Move, please! I will hide the princess. Do you understand? Yes, I do. Thank you. Move out of my way. Thank you very much! Sweet. Now I don't have to worry slightly as much about my health. Can I do this? Yes, I can. I wasn't sure if you had to learn that move. I believe in Orcarina Time you have to learn the spin move. Come here, dude. I'll whoop you. Okay, so... Am I going the right way? Yes, I am. Go to a town first, and I think I have to talk to an old lady. Oh, no! Run! I think I have to talk to an old lady, and then she's gonna tell me to go talk to... somebody down in that weird maze off to the... Right middle. I can't really show you because I'm pointing at my monitor like a dumbass. Is this it? Yep, I'm pretty close. Right here. Hello, lady. Who are you? I'm Link. Master Sword? Well, I don't really remember it, but long ago, legends tell that. Halea? Ho. Hyla? I, I'm not gonna. Yeah. Throughout the land, the Master Sword of Mighty Blade forged against the evil hearts. Blah, 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 blah. Keep going. It's now in the forest. Okay. You know, you must look for an elder who knows where it is. Take care now, Link. Uh, thanks? You must look for another elder. Goodbye. <laughs> I'm going to explore the village real quick. I think there's some goodies here we can get. Specifically, I think it's in this... I don't remember what's here, but I remember it's good. What do you say? Yo, Link, this house used to be a hideout for the Gang of Thieves. Oh. Cool. So we might have something useful in here. Yeah! I would say that's useful. Um, oh, I'm too stoned for these kind of puzzles. I guess... That one, that one, that one. That, and that. Okay, there's... Hell yes! Now, how do I get that one, though? Oh, can I do that? No, I can't. I just fucked myself. Heh! <laughs> I'm never getting that chest. I don't think these reset. And my logic just failed me. <laughs> I'm not going to open that, because if it's another 20 rubies, I don't need it. I have 93, and I... You know, it gives me three... I don't know if you have wallets in this game. You don't? Okay, cool. 
That's disappointing. Yeah. <laughs> Can I go upstairs and it resets itself? I don't think so. If I remember correctly, it stays. Oh, it did reset. Cool. Well, then that's easy. You just go here and move it over. I knew I could do that, but the way I initially changed everything around, I made it impossible for that to happen. Uh, all good. 130 coins. That was worth it. I think we can get some bottles here, too. Life with one of my hold anything bottles. You, sir, your life is not complete. Uh, sure, for 100 rubies, we just got 100 rubies. Well, I actually think we got 80 rubies, but that was very much so worth it. Thank you. Speaking of bottles, I think there's another one here. I remember, yes, I remember a bar, well, hello, chicken, a bar being, hello, look at that. We got two bottles now, so we can have potions or fairies or, I don't think we have a bug catcher's net yet. I think that's in this village, too. Wait, did I really just stumble upon him right now? I'm sick, cough, cough, say I have this cold coming off the mountain. Bug catching it. Wow, I am really good at stumbling upon these things. <laughs> it's like my subconscious is guiding me. You remember where all this shit is from your childhood? Come on. I can't get you yet, can I? Nope. The rumors say I kidnapped. What? That's not cool. Okay, well I guess I'm on my way. I have two bottles and I don't think I can get any more here. If I can, I'm not going to remember it. Uh, we still have to go to... I'm pretty sure we have to go to the desert, so I'm going to go to the desert. The map still has a flashing X on her, but she said I have to find the other elder. I'm pretty sure the other elder is in the desert. <laughs> His name is like Sahasha something. I remember I always made fun of it. It was like having a stroke whenever I was trying to say it. As a kid I could never say it correctly. I was like Sahasha sa sa sa. <laughs> Sweet. Oh. Wait a minute. I think this is something. Yes, it is. <laughs> It'd be really cool if these are fairies. Sounds like it. Oh, it's just one fairy. I don't need you to heal me. I already have four hearts. I was hoping it was some fairies we could catch with our net, because I have a feeling I'm going to mess up a few times. Not intentionally, it's just I haven't played this game in like four years. <laughs> This is another ones I played while I was in high school. This is like junior year, I'd bring a little gamepad with me for uh, computer science, BCIS, anything like that. You'd go into the computer class, just pop up a little emulator and start playing in a small window and the teacher couldn't tell. As long as you kept the controller underneath your table, that's for sure. You pull out the controller in the public and everyone's like, what are you playing? Nothing. <laughs> Not playing anything. Go away. Shut up. What's worse is when they actually see the screen. They're like, oh, you're playing Zelda. I used to love that game. And then like five people hear it. They're like, yeah, I used to love that game too. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> you end up with a crowd of like five people watching you play. You're the one I have to talk to, right? Do you want to find it? Yes, I do. As a test, you can retrieve the Pendant of Courage from the East Palace. Uh, okay. Thank you. I guess. <laughs> He's like, if you want to find it, you're going to have to do some work. Can I sneak past you? Yes, I can. Oh no, I chose the dead end. Alright, turn solid once more. I don't know how long that takes. Never mind. I'm just running. Oh, what a bitch. 
I don't think you're supposed to attack these guys. They, yeah. They take a lot of damage from attacking. You're supposed to shoot them with arrows. If I remember correctly. I hope I'm going the right way. You said east. I assume east is right in a 2-bit game. Uh, yeah, this is definitely the right way. Ta-da! We made it to the first dungeon in 20 minutes. So technically this second dungeon, though. Oh, I should grab that. Oh, I hate this. I remember the sound, and immediately the memories come back. There's a big one, isn't there? Yes, there is. Sweet, I made it without getting damaged. I'm a whole lot better than I was as a kid. I used to die so much to that thing. Ah, I got my heart back. Just searching for these containers. I know I need... God damn it. Right as I say that. I know I need these hearts. Come on. I can kill you all with bottles. <laughs> this is great. And I got a heart back. Cool. I left that room without a scratch. Keep going through here, grab the compass, that's useful. I don't have a map yet, do I? No, it's just unlocking stuff I've been through. It's kind of useful, though. The big chest is in this room, but I don't have the key- Oh, apparently it's not in this room. Oh, I can't do that yet. I think that's a fast travel way back. Yeah, so- so- hot. Sahashrala? I, I assume I still butchered that name, but that's my best attempt and I'm not going to say it again. I'm going to call him Sahasha. <laughs> Maybe even Sasha. But I like Sahasha better. It's locked. If you had the big key, you could open it. Alright, well I don't have the big key. Sucks for me. I definitely can't kill those guys yet, so I'm not going to even attempt it. So many doors to explore. Oh shit. Oh god. That was unpleasantly close. I assume this is a treasure room. There, usually there's not dark rooms. In, oh, yep. That's why it's a treasure room. And I got my heart back. Please don't be right there. Please don't be. Oh shit. Damn it. At least I'm getting some money for it. I don't know if I should waste my key, but I guess I'll go for it. This is the first locked door I've seen, maybe? I know there was the big key door that I saw in the mid room. The main theater room. Or, yeah, and there's another big key. Huh. Use my boomerang against them? Out of curiosity. Oh, I need to switch those keys. I can, but it doesn't do anything. It's so obnoxious. Uh yeah, and I can't kill him without a bow. As far as I'm aware. Maybe I can kill him with pots? Yes, I can! Nice! <laughs> that was a missed shot, but... And it actually does do damage. Okay, um... I have a feeling the moment I kill this guy, they're gonna explode. Yup. Well... At least they exploded in a way that helps me. All these puzzles... That hurt a lot. Please don't kill me. Oh no, the obnoxious ding. Quickly, I need health. 
This was a fast travel way back. I need health! Oh, this is not a good place to get health. I just scavenged from here. I'm pretty sure I stole all the health from here. Uh, Yeah, I'm not opening that big chest yet. Just in case. Aw, oh, you bitches. The delayed loading and everything. I have to be careful about this. Still no hearth. Hearth. No health. Damn, this is why I wanted a fairy. I knew I was gonna make dumb mistakes. Uh, no. Can you stay away from me? Thank you. Alright, so we're back at the beginning, obnoxiously. Hopefully I can find some health, though. Ah! That at least stops the obnoxious dinging. What's back this way? Doesn't look like anything of use. Like the extra magic, though. I really don't like that. There's nothing to get. Oh, it's a fast way back. Huh. Is there another door up here? Yes, there is. Oh, god damn it. At least I got a heart out of that. I was careful enough to avoid any damage. This is a map? Yes, it is. Okay. So I got two hearts back. At least that's going to protect me from anything else and prevent the obnoxious dinging. That was the main thing I was worried about. Because I could have played it safe and just, you know, stayed away from most monsters. Or used the bow and arrow, which I believe is what's going to come up in that big chest that we're about to go open. Oh no. Terrible place to mute my microphone. I was about to take a swig of soda. Oh. Oh, I got a bomb. Hold up, just a second. Man, you gotta love having something stuck in your throat. It just slowly gets worse and worse. I was like, man, there's a room full of monsters. I can't just mute my microphone and take a swig. I need both hands for the controller. Oh no! Ultimate nerd dilemma. Oh, wrong key. That would have sucked. Okay, um, get the bow and arrow. We have 25 arrows. Oh, shit. I don't know what you are, but goodbye. You're not going to respawn, are you? I don't think so. <laughs> that was probably the cheapest way I could have handled that, but oh well. Uh-oh. I don't like this room. And that's a good reason why I don't like this room. Uh, hold on a sec, I will light it up in just a moment. I don't know, I need to position myself correctly. Oh, you mother freaker. You walk a little too fast for me. Okay, cool. Now let me light this place up for you guys. What's in here? We got a key. So I guess we could go through the left door. Let's do that, because I have a feeling this other door might be a trap. Oh! 
door, the right door might have been a trap. And it is definitely not a trap. Well, I mean, it is, but it's not. If I had a fairy, I would definitely go down there, because the one fairy is worth all that health potential loss. Because I think they sap both your magic and your health. Oh, God. Oh, oh God, run. Run! Okay, cool. I need to pull out the bow and arrow. Oh, you douche! Oh, you douche! That was... Not the way I had that plan, but it worked. <laughs> Got some more arrows, and hopefully... I'll get a heart. Yes, that's what I mainly need. Oh, God damn it! It's not that one. It's not that one. It's that one. Okay. I'm doing pretty good. Not losing health in those traps. I have nothing else to... Can I kill you with a pot? I don't think so, can I? Oh, no, I can't. Okay, well... Come here, dude. I assumed you'd take two arrows if you're that powerful. And kill these guys. This is definitely going to be the boss room. I saw the boss insignia there. But they're... This is like a bunch of items. They're pumping me up for this. Fall asleep. Uh, get in the right position and... Voila! I have full health, I have full arrows. Unless this is money, I don't really need it, but alright. Let's go! I remember this boss! You just have to be very careful. Oh, oh, I'm not facing the right way. I'm gonna try to harm them all equally, if possible. I want them all to be hurt. So, there's one at the end who's gonna come after me. I'm sorry, my commentary is freaking out right now. And this guy, I hope I already damaged him. Because otherwise, this is gonna be a bitch. Hell yeah! First dungeon! Ta da! Nice! Makes me pretty happy right there. We won the Pendant of Courage. Take it to Sasha. Sahasha. Whatever. Ta da! Come at me, bro. Come at me, bro. I can kick your ass now. I think he's in this direction, right? Yeah, this is the place I almost got stuck in. Sweet. Got a fast travel back, and I think he gives me the run boots, if I'm not mistaken. You got the pin to the courage. Wow. Three or four generations ago. Knights protected the royalty of Halaya. I'm sure I'm saying that wrong. Unfortunately, most of them were destroyed in the Great War. Among descendants, the Knights of Hyrule, a hero must appear. I see. Link, I believe you should get the remaining pendants and carry this with you. This is a treasure passed down from families of wise men. Ta-da! Got the running boots. The Pegasus shoes. Okay. that's I didn't know that's what they were called. I have a bomb, too. What is back here? Please be something of use. That's useful. That replaces the bombs that I just used at the very least. Hey, that's cool. 50 coins. And another 50 coins. That's... Hell yeah. I'll take 100 coins for a bomb. That gives me three bombs back. Man, I got some tickle in my throat that's starting to kill me. I keep muting my microphone so I don't have to clear my throat and blow out the mic or anything like that. 
I should have fixed most of my audio and video problems I've been having. This one specifically, the aspect ratio for all these old school games I've been playing, has been 4x3, which is standard monitor from, you know, the 90s, the square standard. Now we have widescreen on pretty much everything, and even your phone is widescreen. So I was looking at the way I had to figure out the formatting, and aspect ratio is locked. Oh shit, I don't like that guy. Aspect ratio is locked on uh, OBS. Oh shit, I have no arrows. I hope you drop arrows. Oh no, I can't run at you. No, I can. You're a bitch. <laughs> he didn't even drop anything. But yeah, I figured out how to make the aspect ratio change on OBS, and it should be recording and everything else. It's slightly stretched, so I mean, Link should appear slightly fatter than normal, but other than that, I don't think it's a big issue. Cool, got another one. Now, where are we needing to go? I'm pretty sure we go to the desert first. Actually, I'm almost 100% confident we go to the desert first. But I have a feeling we have to go to the water? Not the water area, what am I talking about? There's like a book or something, maybe. Oh my god, that's not good. Oh, okay, that's... At least it got my hearts back. Wow, that... Whew, that was close. Uh, I'm pretty sure we have to get like this book or something from the town. I believe we get to it from going to the town from the bottom here. Let's go up. Is this it? I think it's one of these buildings. Uh, no. How much is it? 20 rupees? Sure, I'll try. Right is the right way. Well, at least it got me money back. That's cool. I'm good. <laughs> I'm not gonna push my luck. If I only got my money back, I'm not gonna push my luck further. Let's go in here. Oh. Duh, this would be the library. And that is what we have to get. I don't remember why, but I remember we have to get it. Found the Book of Midori, you can use it to read the ancient language of Halaya. Okay, cool. I don't know why we need it, but cool. Is it part of our inventory? Yes, it is. I don't think we have to go up for anything. Oh wait, we can catch that fast dude. I wonder what he gives us. Slight distraction, but I wonder what's useful up here. Where are you at? Oh, you douche. Alright, he should reset. Right? Yeah. Ah. <laughs> I don't remember how I have to catch him. I have to run up and then immediately press A. Oh, he hasn't reset yet. Alright, walk up here and then walk back. He should reset by now. Nope. Now is he reset? Nope, I think I missed my chance. Damn! Alright, well I think there's other stuff here that I can do. Uh, that's really tempting. It's very expensive, but it's very tempting. I'm gonna go for it. Why not? It's gonna probably come back to haunt me, because I'll get, like, a fairy room I'll stumble upon or something like that, but I think it's worth it at the moment. Alright, so let's go down and start the business with this desert dungeon. The second dungeon. Oh, going too far down too fast. Random fact, when I was like, I don't know, 14 or 15, I found a online uh, 2D map maker that you could basically make an online MMORPG that was a scroll-based map like this. Oh shit. And I remapped the entire Link to the Past game. 
every map and pixel by pixel and I turned it into this two-bit game and I just never released it I, I never really figured out the kinks with like the leveling and stuff like that for multiple players but it was really cool I mean I really didn't understand how to make it I guess Minecraft esque because at the time Minecraft wasn't a thing but I was trying to figure out how to make it render a larger world because if you have 10,000 people going and killing the same boss at the same time Clearly, it's going to be a little obnoxious, and I didn't know how to do, like, instance forming for World of Warcraft. Like, where you're in one instance and somebody else can be in the same instance, but you're not together. So, I'm sh I didn't know that type of shit when I was a little kid. I was trying my best, though. Good lord! I'm just getting ganged up on in here. I'm getting gangbanged. Pretty sure they produce money, don't they? I think they do if you lift it off of them. Uh, oh shit. What's in here? Are you fairies? Because if you are, I'm going to be very happy. Well, you're a fairy, so I'm semi-happy. Thank you for the health. <laughs> and down we go. Now I have to watch out for the landmines. I have to watch out for the buzzards. Buzzards are the more obnoxious of this group. Oh shit, I forgot about the sand golems. I think that's what these guys are. That's what they look like. Ah! That's why I needed the book. Okay. Please go away, you obnoxious bird. How do I kill you? Okay. And I assume I use the book on this, and it reads, Open your way f To open the way forward, make your wish here, and it will be granted. Ta-da! And we're in. After a weird roundabout. Now, what do I need inside this? Oh, okay. Feel like I might need this. I don't. I'm not certain yet. I really don't like. Oh shit! They go right underneath you. That's not cool. They're weak, at least. That's better. Only take two hits. Man, that scared the crap out of me. Okay. See, I remember a lot of this stuff, but I don't remember, like, those dudes. Can I go up here? Uh, well, thanks for that. I need to get rid of these dudes first, because they're obnoxious. And then I'll deal with the green. Green dudes, good lord, hold on. I had a harsh uh, pie pit earlier, and I don't think I'm gonna recover from it for a while. Got a sore throat coming on. What's up, dude? I gotcha. Oh, that's cool, I didn't see that. I figured if I killed everyone in the room, that would pop up. Is there any other useful shit in here? Oh, you got the map! The map's not very useful, but thank you very much. I wish that was a big key. And, oh, crap! They shoot fireballs. I didn't know that little piece of information. How do I... Oh, okay. Same principle as before. Got a key. Run down. Hopefully don't get killed by all these mobs. Oh god. Is there money in here? There's arrows and life and magic. More money. More arrows. <laughs> that guy's not a very good... Aw. Oh, I can't do anything in here yet. You guys are not a very good guardian. 
All your shit's been stolen, man. Kill this guy before he shoots fireballs at me. God damn it. Right as I take a drink. I'm trying to prevent my voice from getting all hoarse and raspy. Probably gonna be the last recording I do today if this if my voice is going downhill this fast. It's only like 45 minutes and I'm already getting hoarse. Well, at least it means I'm getting better at this talking shit. You know, being human and all, I don't talk that often. <laughs> Ah, oh, great. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Haha, <laughs> hell yeah! Got that on the fr- That pissed me off, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, how do I use this net? Just, okay. Now how do- You caught a fairy, keep it in a bottle, and I'm gonna eat you. In a non-weird way. I don't think I can go out there for anything yet. Oh, that hurt. I wasn't implying that. I don't think there's anything down here. Oh, I was inaccurate about that. That is highly worth it. And I'll go back up and see what's next. I did just get something of importance, right? Nothing in the dungeon keys. Get more arrows, it's always useful. And kill this orange dude, or pink dude who's following me. I missed really badly with that. Oh god. You're not cool, dude. I'm supposed to be able to charge through you guys. So, if it's not over here, it's gotta be on the right side of the dungeon. I haven't been up here yet. Oh, great. Oh shit. Oh god. It's not cool. You guys bury yourselves while I kill this guy, because other than that, I can deal with you dudes. All at once. Look at that. Now that is a really obnoxious sound coming from this wall. We're gonna go investigate. Cool, got the compass. That was easy. Go down, kill these guys. I assume I have to kill everyone to get the door open. Yep. Because you can't move these statues. As far as I'm aware. Oh god. YOLO! <laughs> it actually worked. I honestly expected that to just kill me. I thought there'd be more than one. Well, cool, I got the big key. So that means go back over to the chest that I was just at, over here. Which I assume will give me the gloves to pick up heavy stones. I think it was down, maybe? Oh, shit. I'm trapped. I was trying to sneak around, and I got trapped. Yes, I think this is the right area, or is this the fairies? This might be the fairies. God damn it. At least I know they respawn, that's useful. Is there a part down here? No. Oh man, you guys trapped me! Need a heart. And I don't think it's gonna give me one, but alright. So it was correct in my first guess, it's over here, and I'm just a dumbass instead of following my instincts. Hey, all this stuff's respawned, that's cool. I don't remember dying. Oh, I went outside the dungeon, that's why everything respawned. I was like, I don't remember dying, why does everything respawn? Heavy gloves, you got the power glove, you can feel the strength in your hands, go pick up heavy stones, will do. And what do you know? There's a door right to the south of here. It's 
sneak by him. Okay. Oh, is he still dead? Apparently. There's not many of them spawning. Cool, let's go outside and we're... Oh, God damn it. Fucking lasers. <laughs> I'm so beefy. Do you even lift, bro? Look at that. God damn it. I don't like these laser dudes. I'm glad I picked the right one there. <laughs> oh god, no. Oh god, no. Oh god, no. Please go. I hate those rooms. And they become very, very hard to do later on. Alright, I assume I have to kill everyone again. Alright, you're being a obnoxious one. Ow, look at that. <laughs> Long distance, didn't have to do anything. Shoot me! Uh, these lamps are placed weird, to be honest. Oh, yeah, I think I remember this one. The lamps come in here. The first couple of levels, they use these lamps as a puzzle. And, and not a very good puzzle, I'll give it that. God damn it, they can shoot through shit. Uh, I'm gonna die. Alright, well, let's have fun with this, because I'm not gonna be able to survive much longer. Uh, no. Can I get... Yes, the lamp. Fire it up. Blaze it up. It didn't work. Oh, the key's right there. God damn it. I thought you had to do the lamps. Oh, I'm a dumbass. And I... Oh, no. Oh, no. I don't like doing these. I'm stressing out right now. There is a key, okay. It's trying to make a skull and crossbones. Got some magic and some arrows. Come here, dude. I'm gonna shoot you in the face a few times. Thank you. Now, here's where the lamps come in. Lamps. Catch it all on fire. As the ridiculous shakes get turned on. <laughs> I do not remember this battle, to be honest. Oh, wait, yeah, I do. The worms. If I think one of them turns red at the end, too. Doing good so far, haven't been hit. Knock on wood. Aw, oh, damn it. Where does it say that? I have a fairy, so I mean, I'm relatively prepared. Okay, I'm starting to freak out. Why aren't they dying? <laughs> How many hits do I have to do on these guys? Jeez. I'm starting to lose a lot of health, too, because I'm not paying attention to where they're going. Can I lay bombs to damage these guys? I can. I'm going to do that. I don't have any bombs left, but it was a good idea. At least I got two hits on them. What? Okay. <laughs> I have a fairy, so I'm not too worried about the first death. It's the second one I have to worry about. How many times do you have to hit these guys? I know I've been... E okay, there we go. There's the first explosion. There's the second explosion, and he's going to turn red, right? No. What? I thought they all turned red when you get down to low health. Okay. 
Six arts now, I don't have to worry about dying so often. And the second pendant. Ta-da! And swing his sword like a badass, and we'll go on for the last one. Isn't there something over here? Could've sworn there was. There is. What's in here? Something useful. I don't like the music. Sounds creepy. Hello. Trial in the desert has made you stronger. The blood in the hero must be in your veins. Oh. That's lovely. <laughs> I used up my last three bombs or whatever that I had. I'll do that later. It's probably a heart piece. I'm not hurting too much on hearts. Usually I do that after I get the Master Sword, because the dungeons after the Master Sword are a little ridiculous. Thankfully, I'm not going to be going past that today. I'll be doing mostly this stuff. Like, well, the first three pendants, and we'll get the... I can pick you up now, can't I? Aw, oh, damn it. I thought you could pick up the rocks those guys had on their back and they, like, produced coins or something like that. What do you want? Nothing. Okay. Is there stuff under these? Look at him, so beefy. They do produce money. I thought so. It's not a lot, but I mean, it's money. You can't complain. <laughs> I think down here is my main money maker too. If I remember correctly, this place has like 40 or 50 coins you can make. Yeah. And every time you come here, it regenerates. So you can go out and go back in, go out, go back in. We don't need to, but I mean, I was just going to collect the coins while I went in there anyways. Now I can't pull that off your head. I can't! Okay, it was just working funky. I'll take the half-hearted damage for the five coins or whatever. Sweet! Now the last dungeon is up there. I don't think we have to do anything else to get there. Oh, oh crap. I didn't realize he was a bow and arrow, dude. Alright, make our shortcut. Run through the village. We only have one heart piece, so I'm not going to go for the other one that's over here. There's one that we're about to pass by. It's, I believe the heart piece is right up here, and... To the far left, it's like a double-sided house or something like that. Yeah, that one. You can go in the back, and I think there's like this little maze or something you have to race through for a heart piece. It's pretty easy to do, but I mean, it's not really worth it. We don't have uh, three other heart pieces we're going to get in the next 30 minutes. We're almost there! Making good progress. Halfway up the map already. Go up into the top here. I think there's the church is once one more map over. Oh nope, this is the church. And we overshot it. We have to go back. We have to go up on that ledge. Right here. Is there something under here? position in such a way it looked like there was. Alright, so let's get up here. Don't hit those guys. They do damage. Um, and they're everywhere. I think up here is the main place we have to go. Sorry, I'm not waiting for the five coins this time. Pretty sure I'm going the right way. If not, I'm gonna apologize. <laughs> Uh, are you going to- yes, up the mountain. I lost my lamp. Sure. So this is the way up the mountain. Cool, I am going the right way. Uh, watch your step, there's a hole. Okay. Thank you for your information, looking for the golden power. I don't- yeah. You're not really able to lecture me. 
turn right here. Wait, right is down. Okay. Holy crap. How are you expected to get through here? Hey, the exit! Oh yeah, I forgot these guys. Run, shit! Oh, you g you're gonna kill me right now, really? I can't possibly run into that house now because he's gonna walk in slowly as that boulder falls on my head. Oh, you better be able to heal me, you douche. Uh, to complete the moon pearl, blah blah blah, all I can do now is comfort your weariness. Thank you. I'm pretty sure... is this the right way I'm supposed to be going? I don't think so, but... Whatever. I'll see where it takes me. I know we have to get to the top of the mountain, and he gave me the mirror, which will let me switch to the dark world now, so we've finally got the link to the past. I was afraid I was going to run off there. <laughs> Always love running up these stairs because he's running. It's such a slow speed. And then he jumps to the top and then just slams into a wall. <laughs> I think he walks up the same speed that you would normally, but it's, it's just humorous. Oh, the mirror transport you back! I don't think I have the double-sided mirror yet. And I can't even pick up stuff right now, so let me stand right here. Use the magic... Check it out! I got a heart piece. Maybe it would be worth it to go and get that. Oh well. Pretty sure we're in the right place right now. Uh, actually, let's just transport to the light world here. Jump off on the top. Oh, yep, that's it. Wait, hold on. What's over here? Ooh. Let me get the book. Hold up your mass sword and you get. Oh, I don't have the mass sword. Damn it. I was like, hell yeah, I'll take some magic powers. Oh, I remember this one too. This is a very fun one, but obnoxious. I think I have to go left first. And I think these red guys throw shit at you if you attack them normally. Seriously? No! This is- oh god damn it, that was obnoxious. This is basically the mini bosses that are going around. The little worm creatures. The boss on this- holy crap, I'll probably die a lot. It, it's not intentional. Uh, truly, I, it's just that the boss on this one kills me, even when I know how to play to a degree. Oh, these guys are obnoxious. I remember you can't hit them, because they'll knock you back as well. Alright. Get some bombs. I think I have to hit that now. No. Knock him down to the first floor, and we're good! Sweet, and... God damn it. I don't have the boss key yet. Darn! Okay, so let me drop down to the first floor. Hit that... Hit that, and I think we still have to go left on this one. Ooh, what's this? Key? No, a map. Got a map. Useful, at the very least. You're obnoxious. I'm gonna take that, though. Can you par- No. I was hoping you could paralyze those guys with that. 
Go downstairs and figure out what the hell to do next. Oh no. I remember this room. Oh no. Oh no. Basically, avoid everything at all costs. Oh no. <laughs> I bet I could hit that thing so I can at least have a floor pattern to walk on, but... Oh, the 8-bit skull and crossbones is gonna kill me. That was way too close. Please be a heart in here somewhere. I don't care where, just... God damn it. Of course there's not. And now there's gonna be a simple monster in here that kills me. Kill these guys with a bow and arrow. Yes, I can. I'll play it safe and keep going. Hopefully, I don't die. <laughs> well, that's it. That's what I needed right there. I assume we're gonna be lighting lamps because it's giving me magic potions. Yeah. We don't need to kill these guys, but hopefully, one of them will drop a. F Freaking heart. No. Well, the obnoxious beep's gonna continue for a few seconds. Ta da! We got the big key! Cool! That's so useful! I'm so happy that I'm probably gonna die. I'm glad that didn't auto lock on me. <laughs> that would suck. So now I need to find some health. Somewhere I need to find some health because... Please drop. Nope. That's not health. Can't grab it either. It's not worth grabbing. It's really obnoxious. Uh, I'm pretty sure I can shoot it when it's... Yeah. I don't know if it's worth killing myself because I don't know if I keep the key. So I don't want to do that. You know what I could do? Go out and then back in. I think there's some chests or pots I can grab. Let me see. I'm trying to get this obnoxious beeping to stop because I really don't like the beeping. I don't know why I tried to shoot that. It's a waste of an arrow. Thank you. Thank you. Please drop a heart or something. Why aren't you dying? Not useful in the slightest. Come down here, please, so I can shoot you. God, you're obnoxious. There we go. <laughs> What's a safe way to killing that thing? Still no hearts. I'm not going down there. I'm not stupid. Alright, well I guess we're just going to continue with the obnoxious beeping. I tried. Can't say I didn't try. Hopefully one of these guys will drop. I can drop a bomb here to kill that one, right? Nope. I harmed him, though. Health, please. Nope. Nope. Oh, it paralyzed him. That's unique. Alright, run towards me, and there's a hole right there. Hurts! Awesome! The beeping is stopped! Uh, that's not good. Oh, you guys are obnoxious. I think if I lean forward, I get... 
Okay, there we go. I had to do that carefully. Come on up here, dude. Up here. Up here. A little bit more. A little bit more. Oh, damn. <laughs> that works. I'm gonna have to do it again. Sorry about the obnoxious music. Can't help it. It's in the game. You gotta love it, though. It's old school game. Three hits, and he's dead. Ooh, that was close. Pretty sure I have to turn that off for some reason. Come on out, dude. You're scaring me. I want to be able to hit you with a pot. There we go. Ooh, that was worth it, too. Got one of them. And got two of them. Sweet. I'm kind of confused on these guys. Like, I'm not sure which way they're going, and I'm freaking out. I don't want to die. You know, the whole nine yards. I can't get there yet. I think I have to change where those holes are and fall down from above. Ooh, I do remember something from this, though. I don't remember... Oh, I hope it's this one. Damn, I was one off. Okay. We have to hit that far upper left one, because if you go all the way to the basement, I think there are fairies, or there's something. Well, that's cool, I heard one of them fall. That's a double one, and let's go down here. If we can get two fairies, I'm not going to be too concerned on the boss, because I'll, I'll fall off a lot, but maybe I'll at least survive. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this would kill you if you hit the bottom. Oh, there's only two? Ah, oh, that sucks. Caught a fairy, keep in the bottle. Caught a fairy, keep in the bottle. Warp back up. I'm pretty sure they don't respawn. If I go back to that room, they're not going to respawn, are they? I've got to try. I mean, if I can get full health from this, I'll be very happy. If not, I'm pretty sure they're going to give me a bunch of health before I fight the boss. Sweet! They do respawn. Very useful. Now I just need to clear this room without dying. Oh, what the hell? You're a smart one. You're avoiding the sword. I've never seen that happen before. That's obnoxious. I don't think we have the availability or oh shit to change the blocks from down here. So I'm gonna go down. You know what? Screw it. This is a mainly melee boss and I have full health and I have full fairies. As long as I can get into the boss room without taking damage, I should be fine. And we're in the boss room! Third boss. You have to hurt him on the tail. And that's the problem. Ah, okay, well, let me get ready for the rage quits. That, or at least the heart-pounding moments. Because if you get hit by him, you get knocked back. Got one hit. I think it takes like eight to kill him. Nope, nope, not ready yet. Oh shit, don't, don't hit me. Two hits. Yep, the adrenaline's starting. <laughs> Three hits. Oh shit. Oh shit, you are pissed, aren't you? Four hits. Five hits. Oh, you sped up. This is the last one. Got him. Hell yes. First try. No fairies used and flawless. I didn't get hit once. Look at that. Whew. Man, my heart's pounding 150 beats a minute. I could write a hard style song. And we got the third pendant. Sweet. Alright, so we got third got all three of them, let's go get the Master Sword. Ok, 
keep going down, and it shouldn't be that difficult to get there, to be honest. Ooh, I wonder what's in here. Anything of you- oh. I don't already- I already don't like it, so I'm gonna back out. <laughs> Too many monsters, don't want to deal with them. I think I still have to go back the old fashion- can I even go back that way? I don't know. I'm gonna try. I think there's actually a different way I have to go back. Going down. Nope, it's a hole. This is where I came from, but you can't get up there. Oh. Another hole. Okay, so there's got to be a way to get back from up top, and I just haven't found it yet, or I don't remember it. Yeah. I don't think there's... Yeah, that goes back to the exact place where it just was. Unless there's a secondary door here, there's... It's really not going to be something that I can do out this way. That sucks. Let me go back to Sahasha, whatever the fuck his name is. And then... I guess we'll just find a way down on... I don't really need the health from him that I was going to get. This is a door that he leads, or that leads to his house. Maybe if I keep going in here? No, that goes straight into his house. At the very least, I'm exploring. I don't remember any of these caves and stuff like that. Killing all these people. Nope, there's only one way down. Huh. Oh, pfft, durr. Let me guess, the, the one right next to the ladder is the way down. Watch, I go to the left here. Oh, fuck you, bats. Keep going down, and I bet this is the way out. I bet it is. <laughs> Ta da And we see light. Nice. Alright, so that two minutes of exploring aside, we're free and we can go to the... the place for the Master Sword, the whatever forest. Oh, I just missed it. The Forbidden Forest is... that's what keeps coming to mind, but I'm pretty sure that's Harry Potter and not Zelda. Oh, there's a fake Master Sword. And I just went the wrong way, didn't I? Nope. You know what? Might as well. I have 250 coins. I think it only costs 20 coins, right? For 100 rubies? Holy crap. Okay, um... Let's go for left. Oh, that was not worth it. Okay, you're a scam artist. I'll never come back here again, you douche. Make that crow fly away. Go up here... Hey, look at that! I think you need this for another quest. Like, you give it to a witch. Mushroom smells like sweet rotten fruit. You can give it to anyone who wants it. Yep. You give it to a witch. Is this the way to the Master Sword? I assume so, if it's leading me down there with the item. Oh no! God damn it. Yep, this is it. <laughs> All the woodland creatures and everything. Ta-da! We got the Master Sword. So I'll probably call it quits after we pull this legendary sword out and everything, but this has been a pretty cool episode. It's only running about an hour and 20 minutes long or so, but guess what? We beat the first three dungeons. First four, if you count the castle. That's legit in an hour and 20 minutes. That's pretty cool. I might post more of these, I'm not certain. It's just something I wanted to play today, and it was fun. So, 
it was cool. Thanks for watching. Drop a like if you really liked the episode, and I'll see you guys next time.